Today I'm going to show you how to make Vortex Star Trails in Photoshop. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is get the sky on a separate layer so we can transform it freely. I'm going to hit Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac and that will duplicate the layer. Next I'm going to take the Quick Select tool and select the sky. Now I'm just going to refine edge I want to do some feathering a little bit there, and I'm going to shift the edge up a little. Basically, you don't want too much of this, these, the lights on the horizon. Um, that'll make a weird effect. The darker your sky is, the better off you are. Just going to hit OK, and now I'm going to turn that into a layer mask. If I turn off the background layer, you'll see that everything was done as I wanted. Now, since we're going to be duplicating this quite a few times, we want to convert this to a smart object. If we didn't, it would rewrite that layer each time, making the quality degrade. As a smart object, it uses the original layer each time. Alright, so now the next step we need to do is create a new set for our action. And I'm just going to name this action uh, Vortex. Alright, now as soon as we push record, you can see it's recording. Now that's going to record each step we make with all the settings we use. So, first step. Control J again, or Command J if you're on a Mac, so that'll layer via copy. And then we need to transform that layer, so Control T or Command T. We're going to rotate this because we want to make that vortex look where it's rotating and going into a center point. We need to pick a good center point for our image to rotate on, so I'm going to move this center point to this bright star. Now we need to choose how much to resize this and how much to rotate the image. For that, I'm going to zoom in and look at the outer edge, that way we're making sure we don't get any gaps. Alright, now we're in the upper left corner of the image, so we can see how much we're rotating each time. Basically, we don't want any gaps in between the stars. So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate it a little. Maybe 0.07. It looks like it may have been too much. I'm going to do 0 0.05. Now I can switch the blend mode of this layer from normal to lighten, since we'll need to do that anyway. And now you can see exactly how much they've rotated. Alright, so now I'm going to just constrain proportions, that way it resizes the same amount in each direction. Now I'm going to type in a number such as 99.95. Yeah, I think that'll do. Once you're done, you hit enter, and enter again, or return if you're on a Mac. And that will apply all those settings. Now, we can stop the action since we have both of those steps done. If we went to the top of the action and click the play button, you'll see it plays at each time, and the star trails, or the vortex star trails, are growing. Now, this is kind of a tedious process, so what I'm going to do is go back and delete all these layers except for the very first one. Now we go open this action up again. We'll select these two steps, and I can duplicate it one, two, three, four times. Now, including the first set, we have five steps now. So every time we play this action, it will play it five times. Now we can select these five, and then we can duplicate that four more times. All right, so now there should be 25 steps. So now we'll just play the action and it should duplicate it 25 times. All right, now we need to set the blend mode of these to lighten again. And there we are. Already an improvement. Now we can play this as many times as we need to to get the proper effect. Alright, starting to look good. Alright, so now we have 75 so far. We'll just leave it there, and of course, if you don't like the result exactly, you can go back and change the transform steps so it'll look a little different. I'm going to leave it as is for now. The next step is to select these layers, and then we want to group them, so Control or Command G to group these layers. So now the, all of these layers are one group. We'll add a layer mask to that, and we're using a soft round brush. So, just 
start painting away with black and that will hide everywhere we paint black will hide all of these layers within the group so we'll just paint a little bit like this and we're starting to get better results already okay now there we have our vortex star trails don't forget, you can always take a picture a little bit earlier or later, whenever it's a little brighter out, to get a nice clean background. You can also use a super long exposure to get the perfect background. Or you can even take a separate background, like this one. Move this over here, and you'll see what that looks like. Just a second. There. And of course, one more thing. You can use a long exposure picture, and then do the vortex, and it makes it look pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and until next time.